It's humid this morning, boy, bad humid. Sunday morning, I'm gonna get on the uh, 726. Wait, from about right here to a spot that I'm going to is about a mile of road. And what's happened is, you're gonna see it, I'm all fired up on the camera here. Uh, the trees have closed in on the road pretty bad. To, I mean, you can ride a four-wheeler down it really easy, but I'm going to take and open the trees up a little bit so that I can get my disc back there. I'll be right back. All right, let's get this party started, man. Let's rev her up. Just saw one. All I'm doing is just going to open this road up where it's these tight spots at, down through here. If you'll watch, this head, this head has two sets of fingers on it. It's got the two up at the top up there. You see that right there, open and closing them. I do that with foot pedals in the bottom right there, one foot pedal. And then if you'll look up under, there's some small clamps right there. Those are spring-loaded clamps right there. What that does is that allows me to accumulate trees to cut, cut one, grab it with the top clamps or grab it with the bottom and hold it and then open the top one. So for instance, I drive through the tree, I clamp that, clamp that on it, and then I can reopen the top clamps while the bottom clamps are still holding. Now, I'll show you here in just a minute. You just pay attention and watch. Right, this is a good open spot to kind of show you what I'm talking about with the clamps there. I'm just going to take that gun and just throw it over out of the way. See, I closed it. I got the bottom clamps on. Hold the tree. I just opened my top clamps back up. All right, I've got the tree. All right, I'm gonna open. See, I open my bottom clamps. I'm reclosing them. Now I can open my top ones, and I'm holding both trees. See, that's called accumulating those trees. And you, you know, I mean, you fill the head up with as many as you want to want to get in there. So there's three in there now. That's four. Like I said, you can put till you fill the head up. You can put as many in it as you want to put in it. Throw them all down right there in the pile. All right, so I said the top clamps work off the foot pedal. The bottom clamps work off your right joystick. There's a two-way toggle switch right here, left and right. All right, so when I close them all, I have another button on my right joystick that opens them all at the same time. See, I hit that one button, it opens them all to dump. Or you can open them individually with the, with the, with the foot pedals or the other. Get these right here. This is pretty tight down through here. Let's open that back up. Open them, close them. So I got them both now. Let's see. Get this larger one right here. side by side like that it's okay but when they cut and one crosses over like that what it does when it does like that it spreads the tops out so if you're trying to make them go down in a tight spot between some trees they're spread out the tops it's usually not going to do it but man if you get them like that you can throw them down in a little narrow spot real easy Try to set this right beside it. There we go. Just right. Now, these right here will fall really good for me right here. I'm going to put these right here. See, it went right down through that slot right there. Just perfect. You can see the road is just almost. I mean, it's very tight. Kind of a little bit tough to get a tractor down through here now. Let's open it up just a little bit. All this we got to thin. This is another uh, 
I think it's 55 acres right here. We may be able to get on this a little bit before it gets too wet. Get some of this thin over here. That's three, that's four. Over here and get five. Oh, oh, oh. Missed it, missed it, missed it. Got it. Just one more right here on the side. You just keep working the trees in the head like this. That's all that you do. Let's see, yeah, we got them all. I'm gonna try to get these three right here all at one time. Mission accomplished. Now we'll go up here. I got a pile up here. We're gonna take them up here and dump them right quick. Let's get a little pile right here. We'll put them all on. That one, let me grab it. Alright, so I got it. Let's see. It's probably gonna get broke up. Yep. That's okay. Still got the top piece of it, dude. Lay it right there and we'll catch it with the bottom of the head. Slide it around. like that. That's Y'all on linear field of view. Now I've got y'all on wide. We're going to be able to see a lot more out the sides now. Should be able to anyhow. I'm about uh, about halfway I guess now. Something like that. Doing what I'm doing. Cutting the stumps just as low down in the ground. It's actually setting the head for to go down in the ground to cut them. I want them as low as I can possibly get them. You'll notice as I'm driving out there, there's just a constant rain of pine needles and leaves and stuff coming down. Watch it on the video as, I, as I'm driving out through here grabbing these trees. What it does, it piles up right here on my windows on each side. Just, it just stacks up on the back of the machine. Every day you have to get out and just clean that stuff off, but it'll be so much of it piled up. Put these right here in this hole right here. So I stuck that disc all the way down in the dirt, that right there. See all the stuff starting to accumulate right there, man. It'll pile up. I mean, it'll pile up even with the tops of those cylinders after a little while. I gotta hop out and clean this stuff out where I can see where I can see the bottom of the head. It's done gotten so bad. I'm thinking to get there right quick. came on a little bit ago hopefully I can finish up what I'm after doing without running out of fuel that will not be good our right, mission accomplished I'm gonna try to hopefully I'm not familiar with this machine enough to know how long you can run with the low fuel light on but I hadn't ran that long I got the road opened up to where I wanted to and I'm heading back right now surely I can make it back to the loader before I run out of fuel at least I hope so anyhow if I don't the next part of this video will be y'all seeing me walking back so luckily I made it back around here didn't that didn't run out of fuel so we'll fuel this thing up uh we have the service truck back over here probably tomorrow which will be Monday get that done so hope y'all enjoyed that little ride along with me here on the 
on the Tiger Cat 726 tree cutter just do a little maintenance on the roads here so like my stuff please subscribe to me I'd appreciate it you, know, you can find me on all those stuff social media stuff you know snapchat twitter all that good stuff like that all those caught out through we'll catch y'all later later taters